just thinking about you. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. Oh, I don't know. I was really hoping for a huge sign on the wall saying, Grix's legacy clues here. Do I have to spell everything out? Look for data slates, notes, terminal entries? If you wrote a poem on a piece of toilet paper, I want it. Before he touched off the riots, Creek spent time behind bars at the lock. If he cooked up any sort of a plan about his legacy, the trail has to start here. If that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Smartest thing you've said all day. If I hear one more thing from either of you about getting paid for this job, I will put a bullet in your head myself. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving.
Venus? If you have any gear you want me to haul, I'm happy to help. Hi. Please disregard. I am I currently in possession of an item you require? Goodbye, Captain.
Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. About a hundred years ago, this icebox was a maximum security penitentiary for the UC. Originally, they just tossed prisoners onto the surface of Subarov. But after people cried foul, they built this place. Cozy, huh? Oh, grow a spine, will ya? God. There is a huge difference between being a coward and being careful. So both of you, watch yourselves. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. Hostile, take it down. Couldn't miss it. How many people did the UC stick down here now? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Uh, not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Cricks to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story now, this. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open.
I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. <laughs> well, look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open. supposed to do now what's there to think about let's face it we're on our own now you think he rigged that collapse on purpose no no way I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves but I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. We bide our time, and when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. Yeah, we're doing this right now. Or maybe we should wait until the next time we're on an alien world and separated from Delgado by an ice fall. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that icefall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect. Hell no. Come on, we both know anything we find here about the legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her! We got more important things to do, like spending all of our money. Playing it safe, huh? I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. 
Now, let's find a way out of here. I guess that's one way through. Delgado trying to get us killed. Space heater and a hot cup of bogs right now.
Have you thought about what I've said? Don't act stupid. I'm talking about off in Delgado and getting paid by Neva for the info on Cricks. Well, maybe we won't have to. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? You didn't see. Those aliens were tearing through them like tissue paper. It'd be a miracle if any of them were alive. Saved us a hell of a lot of trouble. Well, we're kind of on the clock here. Just remember, when this all goes down, you better make the smart choice. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. What the hell are you planning to do with all that? You hear that? Ah, never mind. This place is not really to me.
believe this is where the fleet started. That's history, man. Blows me mind. Why you need all that junk? Delgado was right. Crix must have hit the... Bank transport. Stashed away the money or something. But we play this right, and we're gonna be filthy stinking rich in no time. I swear, if this isn't enough to get me into the fleet.
utility room is 48611071. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice, so I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. We get one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what'll happen. place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This ought to come in handy. We actually gonna find something down here. Or is Delgado trying to get us killed? You're slowing us down.
here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. I would hate to have been one of the guards. right next to the shuttle bay. Oh, could escape something. <laughs> Smart. Que carajos took you so long? Quit screwing around and pick up. Do you have any idea how long I have been waiting? The things I do to make money. I, I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place.
I'm the only one left. Damn creatures finished off the rest of my people. But finding the legacy, that is going to make their sacrifice worthwhile. I don't know. Looks like some kind of a security office or something. It doesn't matter. Did you find anything or not? I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! But something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Yup, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find the way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock, and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still be you to the key. Yeah, sure, and I wish gold coins would start raining from the sky. Now, if wishing time is over, maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change. Okay, let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the exit process. Please stand by. Yup. It's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Hey, um, look, I, um... Well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. That's true. Well, thanks all the same. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here.
save the chatter for later, and just get us back to the case. <laughs> Right, Captain. Where are we headed next? Captain, do you require my assistance? The fleet is family. Stealing from each other is just what you call a professional courtesy. like the smell of a dead shark after you cook him with an energy blast. Proper shielding for any smuggling jobs. Some missions require stealing from settlements. Be sure to gear up at the depot if you need to. Very. You'll get a location with the target goods. We don't care how you get it, as long as you deliver. You get caught, that's on you. I'm constantly scanning for valuable shipments. You'll be given a target ship transport in the system to track them down. Just be sure you have the cargo space to get the goods. We have contacts throughout the settled systems that require shipments of illegal goods. Smuggling requires a bit of subterfuge since we'll be loading up your ship with contraband. If you want to make that delivery without getting caught, You'll need shielded cargo space to accommodate the goods. Speak to Jazz about that. She'll be more than happy to set you up. You don't know? Well, you're about to enter a whole new world. Shielded cargo space is a fleet specialty. It's made to fool the UC and Freestar Ranger scanners that are used to detect contraband. Good, because I do hate repeating myself. Be seeing you. <sighs> Hey! 
There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. Oh, excuse me. Forgive my impertinence. What I meant to say was, give me whatever you found right now before I blow your goddamn head off. Please. Just cut the crap and give him what you found. <laughs> Demanding the credits up front, huh? You're learning, Rook. You are learning. Don't worry. You finish the job, and you will get paid. But first, I need to sample the merchandise. Translation. Give him what you found before he puts a hole in your chest. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Because they would be rolling in so much cash, not to mention they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galbank goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. Now, the legacy is out there, just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbag ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a... Big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Rokoff is... <laughs> well, he's Rokoff. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long-hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship. Make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. 
If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner, is all yours. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Matt. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. <sighs> You see, you'll never crush the fleet. They'd have to catch us first. I got a bounty so big, the Tracker's Alliance had to beef up their servers just to keep coming. If you need a credit, hit up the mission wards at the core. <laughs> Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Ship services? You need it, I've got it. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. Neva's the only one who calls me that, amongst other things. To you and everyone else, it's just plain old jazz. Neva's mine, so don't be getting any ideas. She may be a little rough around the edges, but she's just looking out for her own. There's no one better to have your back. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books, if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. No, 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 no. You buy from me, you're worry-free. I can't have my customers getting caught now, can I? That's bad for business. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Serious enough that you don't have a chance in hell? Neva's got a fire in her. The kind you only see in an engine pushed to its limit. She doesn't half-ass a damn thing, and I love her for it. <laughs> Truth is, the fleet rescued me. Of course, I wouldn't have needed rescuing if they hadn't blown up the ship I was working on. Delgado plucked me out of space and brought me to the Key. I took one look at the place and was compelled to work. Soon after, he offered me a permanent spot with the fleet. Sure. It's not like I'm busy keeping this rust bucket of a station from falling apart. Shop's always open as long as your money's good.
here to upgrade that ship of yours? If you've got the credits, I've got the time. Oh, yeah, nothing like changing it up to make a ship feel new again. You've got stuff to smuggle. I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look. Overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying. You want to stay under the radar all business and no fun huh what do you need sounds like fun let's see what I've got
Dave. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me onto Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. What? No, you've got to be crazy. All I'm going to do is lay low for a while, pick up a few jobs from Voss, and maybe get drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask, and I'll be there to back you up. We're going to hold you to that promise, Mathis. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. Well, isn't this cozy? It appears we've stumbled across the embodiment of the phrase absolute mayhem. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. My score involves a one-time event being held aboard the Siren of the Stars. If anyone finds out the Crimson Fleet's aboard that Starliner, the event will be canceled and I can kiss my payday goodbye. There's no way I'm gonna miss this window of opportunity. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Pictures I've seen? The award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get jazzed to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. Guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on with the event. Then why the hell are you here? We take unnecessary risks every day. That's what being a pirate is all about. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Unless you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Maybe. We haven't decided. Hey, Cap. You hiring? Got some baddies on my tail, and I need a place to lay low. go out and do a job. It's you. Who ends up with all our crits? I'm a smuggler. Get enemies comes with a job. This time I got in over my head and made one who's more dangerous than me. We got a much hard to believe what passes for polite conversation these days.
time you see Bob, tell him to lighten up. Guy's got a real attitude problem. Every captain here is under stripes. I don't know about you, but I think the wealth. <laughs> what kind of name is Sis Def anyway? Captain, it is pleasant. I have things for you. you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh? Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes sometimes. Actually, yes I do. Here you are. Talk to you later. <laughs> Service, Captain. Allow me to assist you with carrying your items.
the day, Captain. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. Good day, Captain. Got anything you need to offload? Trade? Sure, how about it?
too many odds and ends. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Okay, no problem. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flight. Sure, have at it.
Why are you bothering to carry all the... about time. Hey. Come on, see. Be head.
Look at this place. It's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. I feel it. Ask if you've got questions. Take care of yourself. Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. <laughs>